like a Gemini capsule, excuse me, Mercury capsule, you don't so much get into the cockpit of this small aircraft, you put it on. Foot pedals down there, they control the rudder. They don't really so much turn you as they help the airplane turn. The control yoke here, this will make the ailerons turn. Now as I turn this to the right, out there you can see that that side goes up. When I make the airplane you want to go to the left, it'll make that side go down and the other side go up. That's what really turns the plane and the rudder just kind of helps scoot the rear end around. And then for up and down, this will make us go up and this will make us go down. What's that called? This is called the yoke. And that Surely ain't no kidding. joke. That, sorry, bad timing. <laughs> ask me why I'm not a comedian. Ask me. Go on, ask. Why are you not? Timing. Why are you not a comedian? <laughs> the headsets are nice. They not only attenuate the noise, but these are a very nice type that they have an electronic circuit that'll electronically reduce what? the noise. What? Hello? See, yeah, he can't even. I'm calling him a, 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 a jerkhead, okay? He's, he's the biggest idiot you'll ever see. I don't know why I'm flying with him. He can't hear any of this. So, uh, anyway. Oh. This is an amazing piece of equipment. You will notice how modern the gauges are. We actually have a clock here that you have to wind up. Well, you know, that old technology sometimes works the best. This is a famous Walkman eight-day clock. So all you youngsters out there who thought a Walkman, well, that's a passe term now anyway. Yeah, they wouldn't know what that is with iPods. W-A-K-M-A-N-N. -N. And we got a little handheld, basically the aviation version of a GPS, which that is a GPS. The gauges can look uh, kind of frightening and scary to the if you're not used to them, but they all have a certain function. And after you train and fly, you just get used to them. They're just second nature. You do have to, however, when you're flying, always cross-check them because if one breaks down, there's little hints that can happen to let you know that there's a problem. But um, we're going to be mostly looking right out there. Okay. It's a checklist. Every pilot goes through a checklist. At least he does if he wants to make sure he's around to fly another day. Yeah, it helps. Let's see, 422.83. Check. ELT is on. Brakes are good. Richard. Yes, sir. Put your hand up on the top of the panel. Yes, There's sir. a handle. Grab it. Okay, got it. Pull your seat back and forth. It's locked in Making position. sure it's locked in place. Yep. All right, Nothing worse than trying to hit the pedals with your feet when you're slid back. That's affirmative. Uh, let's see, you got your seatbelt on? Check. Okay, avionics off, autopilot off, air conditioning, ain't got it. Well, yeah, it is, the door's open right here, yeah, see, so we okay. got the air conditioning open. Beacon on, brakes good, prop, clear! You always say clear prop to make sure that uh, nobody's going to get hit out there. There might be a gnome standing underneath the front of our cowl right now. Okay, now I'm going to prime the fuel. Wait for the fuel to come up to 10 PSI. Actually, it's 10 gallons per minute. But it's 10, whatever it is. Clear! Check. Can you hear me, camera? Is it too noisy with the airplane? Well, anyway, I'll have nice music on on this part anyway.
pilot's checking the instruments just to make sure that when he turns the aircraft that all of his compasses and his uh, gyroscopic compasses that they match with the uh, magnetic compass. That's one of the ways you cross-check to make sure your equipment's working right. Now we do the run up. Proper tank, left main, left main, up to our fuel. I'm going to check the trim cap down here. Make sure that's good. I'm going to check the flight controls. Make sure that they're free. Looking for traffic, you always do a visual check at a non-controlled tower, and it's not a bad idea at a controlled tower. Joe's just called off uh, intentions to the radio, letting anybody that's flying around knowing that we're going to take off.